Hey guys, welcome to my channel. The name is Kimmy here if you're new. Today we are working on Thursday's ep build episode. So, today I'm going to work on a potential home for our 100 baby challenge. Um, I figured if I do it this way, it would be more appeasing for y'all. That way I don't just have already build and come back in. I can just show y'all how I build it and then go from there. Now, with this, I'm going to be using this particular house that I found. I like the shape of it, so this is the plan I plan to use. It's four bedrooms and two bathrooms, and I figured this would be perfect for the 100 baby challenge. It is a bit small, yes, I'm aware, but I figured I want to start with her expanding slowly. So when she has money for this house, she moves in, has a bunch of kids. And then maybe after that generation, she'll start making more money. And then she can move to another house. So right now, this is going to be the next house they're moving into. It's really cute to me. I like the floor plan a lot. There's the downstairs. It has the bathroom, a foyer, a bedroom, living room, kitchen. And then upstairs, it has open to below here. So it opens to the living room. And you go upstairs, I have two, three bedrooms and a bathroom. So I might do an extra bathroom. I'm not sure 100%, but I do like the layout. And hopefully I can recreate it. And hopefully this will actually help you guys learn how to recreate them as well. So with that being said, we are going to jump into today's episode. And I will be using my phone for the most part, unless I'm showing you guys something. And I will be doing a plan based off my phone so I can look at it and zoom in. But we will get a little look-see <laughs> on this. The way I like to start is I like to look at all of the um, rooms and just by counting blocks, so to speak. With me being a builder, I know how big of a block I need for a certain item. Like, for example, a toilet is a one by one. So a toilet will literally, a toilet will fit, right? And it's a little square, right? So I'm like, okay, a bathroom has a toilet, a shower, and a tub. So a toilet's one square. Like this is where your toilet, and then you got the tub, and then you got the little shower, like one stand. So I can fit all of them within a four spot. So this whole area right here will hold toilet, shower, tub. And then you need a space between it, like at least one space between so they can get in. And then another space after that for like sink or something. So I'm just doing it based off of that. And right now I do have a wraparound porch on this, which I love. So I'm excited for that. But we're going to get started building so I can show you guys how I do this. All right. So I'm going to start on this bottom corner down here in the bathroom. And go from there. For me, I'm looking on my phone, like I said. So I'm going to count this out. Let's see, I see a toilet. The toilet, I know for a fact, it's one square. So one square on both sides there. I see a tub by itself. So one, two for a tub. And then I see a corner shower, which is not going to be easy to do. But I'm going to try to make it work somehow. So we'll just do the shower for now. I will fix it in a minute. I'm going to do a little trick and hopefully it works. <laughs> If not, it's fine. It's going to be a shower. No, it's all that matters. And then over here, next to this shower, the shower technically is like right here. Realistically, it's like this. But that's too big for a shower. Let's be real. We don't need that. So I'm going to make the shower end. We got the little space there and it has a washer and dryer in here. But I'm going to stack it. So it's going to be still the same, still the same way, but stacked. And then this way it goes here, and then it goes down another door. It looks like it goes in one, but see, it can't do that in Sims. So, we are going to do this. This way, we'll move this out another square. If I can move this here, come on. <laughs> there, and then we are going to go in one and down. That's going to be our bathroom. It's a little huge for a bathroom, but if we do it right, it'll work fine. So... It's okay. We'll be fine. And over here, we have our foyer, which is like literally this little square. There's nothing crazy about it. <laughs> but see, here's our thing is that we need these half tiles, right? Where this line, this dotted line should be is where it should end. But Simmons 4, if you're listening, which I doubt you are, but if you are, please give us half tiles on walls. <laughs> Ugh. 
So we have the foyer, which should be the half tile here out to about there. But it's really massive, so I'm going to do it about here. And just going to have to make it work because it's a little bit wonky in a way. But I might pull this in, actually. Pull that in. Make it a square. Now I'm moving on to this area, which is the bedroom. The first bedroom on the bottom floor for a double bed. And again, I'm doing it based off my memory as a builder. And I know that when you get to this part here, it has to have, it looks like a double door really. So it's probably about right here. Does it line up to the other one? It does line up to the bathroom door. So that means it will be right here. That's where that door will go. And the bedroom will reach. This is going to be a really small bedroom. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Well, then again, it pulled out this way. You know, hang on. We're going to move this whole thing. All right, let's move this, please. Okay, move it back. I'll move it back a lot right now. Yes, there is a wraparound porch, but I will get to that in a minute. All right, this, I say at least two. And I want this to be out one. I thought I have to go down. Then it's going to go about, looks like three, but we're going to go two. We'll go through with the closet because this way I can put the closet somewhere in the middle. Hopefully, like right in here. If not, I'm going to remove this and make like a homemade closet. So that's fine. It definitely looks to be about four wide. I might make it five wide just to be safe because the bed will end about here. So we're definitely bigger than that. So we're going to pop this open a couple squares. Move this over there. And pop this open. A couple squares. Yeah, maybe not. I don't like it that many squares. <laughs> We're gonna pop it in one. There. That would be the bed here. We got our end tables, which is great. We got like a little dresser here and a chair. So perfect. All it has in this picture is all it's gonna get. Back here is our stairs to go upstairs, so we're going to put that in real fast. Because if we don't do it now, we'll forget to do it later, and it's going to mix it all up. So I'm just going to put these stairs here for now. It can be like that, and I'm supposed to take the top and switch it around. So we're going to go like this, and then I'm going to take this here, go up, and then I'm going to move it to where it works better. There. See? Just like that. And then, from there, I'm going to continue drawing onto the rooms. This is where we just finished. We just finished the stairs here by the bedroom. And now we're going to be moving into the cathedral living room. Because remember, when you go upstairs, this upstairs will be open to the bottom. So, got to make sure that it's open to the bottom. Which is going to be the harder part, but I'll get it done somehow. And this is just open. Let me move this up, actually. Hmm. You know what? We'll leave it like that. It looks a little better. Technically, this is supposed to be right here on the end, but then this bedroom would look odd. So, what if I just move this in one? Leave it like that. Sure. That'll do. <laughs> All right. So, we need. I'm going to put a wall around this because no one wants to see this when we're building. At least I don't. I don't like seeing these stairs. So, I'm just going to put a wall around it. And plus, the wall is thicker than the stairwell, which is weird, but that's what it is. Um, in our living room, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. But I also like to use the windows as a guide. Like, for example, in this picture, we have one, two, three windows. It can either be one big three window or it can be three individual windows. I like to do individual windows. This way, you know for a fact one square, one square, one square, you know? And even though this is right in the corner, I consider this one square as well. So, that's technically four squares to me. So, I know that it's going to be at least four squares, which is about the size of this room as it is, which is kind of perfect. <laughs> now, how long it's supposed to be is the hard part, because you got to have enough for a TV and an L-shaped sectional. And sectionals are not very easy to manipulate. So, we're just going to put it for here for now. Yes, I am aware this is open to the kitchen and everything. We're just putting it there for right now. And then we'll work on it once we get to the point. Right now, I'm going to connect 
that with one of come on come on <laughs> one of this little area i don't know why it has a little square there but okay now this is a sliding door and i know the sliding doors are usually about two squares so i'm going to do the two squares and then one for the kitchen now with that being said it's gonna be a little hard to put a table in here so I'm gonna do an extra square just to be safe. I put the sliding door like in between this, just so that we have more room. And then we have to go along the walls back here, which is pretty self-explanatory. And we might have to do an extra one only because it's supposed to end up to here. So that is all for there. And then I don't know why this is colored scheme is different. Oh, the stairs. Okay, never mind. But that's all taken care of that. And then I'm going to go in here and I might even drop this room down. Just a square. Just so it has like some dimension to it. Just like that. So it's a drop in living room, even though it does not show this in the actual stuff, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Figure it out what the issue is. See, sometimes you got to really look at the pictures and let me tell you, the pictures can be confusing. All right, this can go up a square for a second. I need to fix this. So we are going to delete that. The stairs is supposed to go in the other direction up the stairs, which makes way more sense. <laughs> so we take the same stairs. No, we just use different stairs. Let's use, I want to use, I want to make this look different. So we'll just do these stairs there and we just go like this there. Move this to this side. I don't know if I like that, that size. Okay, you know what? You're gonna fix this. I don't like the size. So we're gonna put this over here. Right there. That's how it's supposed to go. Like that. But it's so tall. It's like so tall here. What if I... If I did this, it makes it longer. Okay, so I just move this out. There. What if I did that? That might do better. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. All right. See? Simple. Simple fix. Now, again, we did go back to the lovely little... This is perfect, too. Gives it a wall for the TV. Now, we did take this again. And you go down us there. Beautiful. Take out this lovely wall here. Whoopsie. Wall there. Not the floor. <laughs> go upstairs and now it's fixed now i can make it work hopefully the way it's supposed to and now because this stairs going down this is like a really weird spot i don't like this spot back there but nothing i can do about it we're just gonna wall it off you'll never know it's there or i might put plants there something different but this is supposed to be like completely walled off here we might use to put like a roof over and go around it i don't know but according to the image, this piece right here, needs to be open. I don't think it opens if I do it there. We'll, we'll try it and see if it doesn't, we'll just remove it. Here, all the way around to there, all the way to here. All this is supposed to be open, so let's see what happens if I do that. Yeah, if I get rid of one wall, it just messes it up, so we're not going to do that. But we are going to move this wall to this area right there and then cut it out. Just like that. Ew, I don't like that. You know what? We'll get rid of this wall and I'll make this into a railing. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> and then over here is what to have a wall for the bedroom. Looks a little weird compared to how I have it, but it's fine. It'll be it's just going to wing it to make it work for the Sims, you know? This way right here, it's going to block off. And we need an extra square here. To... It's not exactly on the edge, so we'll just go back here right now. Then... About there. Just about there for right now. It's not going to be perfect by any means, because I don't expect it to be. Then right here, I'm going to put in a closet. And then there's a linen closet here. And then this is where stuff gets really confusing. Because, ugh, my head. Alright. So, from here, 
There's one dresser. And then like another window. It's about two windows. And then one, two. Pull this in. See, one for the nightstand, one for a single bed, one for a nightstand, and then one. Well, now it's supposed to meet at the edge of the stairs. It's supposed to meet right here. So that's fine. And it's supposed to kind of lined up with this. So that works too. But this here goes like this. So like that. And that's how that runs. So that's like basically perfect. And then the bathroom here on this side, it's a little, a little bit more wonkier because it's bigger for some reason. But to me, to, we still ought to remember we have a downstairs wraparound porch that I have yet to build. So it's going to go off onto the porch. So I gotta remember that part. It keeps looking weird to me because I don't have the portrait yet. <laughs> Alright. So, for... Come on. They have my thing to work with me. Alright. So for here, we have the end of the bedroom and it's about the length of a double tub, looks like. That's for a linen closet and then... Let's see. This is for a linen closet and then double tub. We can't go any farther out. So we're just going to do this without a linen closet because we already have one. And it does have a tub on one end and a bathroom on the other. So we're going to do the basic holy grail here. This is a normal four side bathroom. Because you got the tub and you got sink and a toilet, which it basically shows there. But they have like a really weird arrangement. <laughs> this is a linen closet. This is a linen closet. And then this comes out into the linen closet. This is even stranger. But we're just going to do what they wanted. So there's the door to this bathroom. There you go. Now you got like a walk around closet, I guess. I don't know what you want to call that. You know what it is? It's not that way. It goes into the bedroom. That makes more sense. Yes. <laughs> this is a closet. And then this is a closet as well. That's why. Alright, that, that makes things so much easier. <laughs> this is at least a door length. And it goes back into this area. So, we have the nightstand, the double bed, a nightstand. So, it's perfect size. This is the perfect size it is. So, that's how you learn. And if your build does this and you can't get a roof, simply just grab your custom room tool and just go across, connecting the dots around. And make sure you connect all the way around this. And boom, you'll have a roof. Because sometimes it happens that way. I don't know why, but it's what it likes to do to us, you know? <laughs> and I think the kitchen area. So you just leave that. I don't know what to do with this part. Because this part's not in here. <laughs> it's like not that much of a space between it. Hmm. There's like literally like a little tiny, tiny walkway here. So, I'm thinking of moving this back a couple, like so, and that way it looks a little bit more, I don't know, different. This would be like a little walkway, I guess. There you go. That's how we're going to do that. <laughs> um, The other hard part about this, though, is that I need to put a floor on here first. That way I can put ceiling lights, because ceiling lights will not work on... You know, floating. So. Basically, I've done all that. I'm trying to do the cheapest as possible because we need lighting. But at the same time, I want them to get what we need. So. I need cheapest as possible so that way she can afford it. <laughs> but right now, I'm going to do this. And she likes yellow. So I'm going to put yellow. This is a tall one. That's medium. There it is. This one. Yes, I'm aware it's very long right here. I am planning on that, like so. And then I just delete the floor. Boom. Lights. See how that works? You gotta do it that way. But I will do that in a minute. Cause I gotta fix this. <laughs> Put this over there. It looks even there. Alright, now I can delete the floor. Beautiful. It's not very tall by any means, but I wish it was longer. But we're gonna have to do what we can. Now... For 
this lovely thing here is a little wonky. We need to fix this up too. So I'm gonna move this over so that way I can do my wraparound porch on it. Boom. All right, this wraparound porch comes in from here around. And that makes... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. It's gonna look a little bit different than it would in the actual build, but that's fine with me. So we are going to do that. I made that a little bit smaller for a reason, and that will show you when I get to it. Right now, we are going to do the wraparound porch part, and to do that, you just need to get a flat square, put it where you want the porch, and just stretch it basically. I'm gonna make this this about the size of this, so all the way around to the back. As far as I know, okay, it does wrap around the kitchen. All right, cool. So we're just going to pull it back here where the kitchen ends here. So it's going to go back here and to here. That's how far it's going to wrap around. I am debating on, you know, I'm bringing this in one. It doesn't mean it's that huge. You know what? Never mind. We're going to leave it out. I'm leaving it the way to have it. They have it out that way. We'll go out three all around. That way it's even because I don't like uneven stuff. OCD sucks. <laughs> then I just build a ceiling on it and see how it looks so even there. Now I'm just put roofing on it. And the roofing, it looks pretty self-explanatory. It just looks like they used this for the bottom part and they used this for the top parts, which I will show you how I will do that in a minute. So right now we are going to use this, because this right here is where they have this piece, right, on this part. Just like that. And then they have this piece on this part as well, like this. And, um, I don't like it. It's, okay. There you go. <laughs> like that. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah. This one go up too. That way it doesn't look like that. <laughs> it's gonna be a little tall though. All right, so something like this, and then you copy it onto this side. Don't know why it didn't work at the same distance across, but okay. We got. I think it's too far up. Maybe that's the problem. Try backing it up some. It's very hard to do because these two sides are different and when you don't want the bottom showing like that, you just hold control and I mean not control shift. You hold shift <laughs> and you just drag the bottoms up. That's like that. So they don't go through the ground like that. But that's for that side. As far as this guy goes, it, there's no wraparound porch on it. So I'm trying to figure out 100% how they did that part. But I will figure it out. No problems. <laughs> um, let's see. Just got to use my noodle. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to move this in a square. Move this in a square. Move this square out. And then... Maybe move this in a square, this in a square, this in a square, and this in a square. And you guys will see why I did that in a second. I'm just doing something really unique with this. Then, of course, you know, I'm going to show you how to fix this up to what I think my liking, the way I want it to look. You guys don't have to have it this way, it's just the way I want it to look. So, what I'm going to do is take this... And copy it again and put it on this side but i'm gonna move it out just a smidge and make it even down here i might up the bedroom a little bit bigger just so it can match the top so maybe two squares out i guess yeah perfect and then this thing could just be stretched out for like a double a double thing and we'll move this one in like so move this out like so perfect we're gonna do that just a little tweaking for the sims yes i understand it's not the same size i understand all of this i'm doing this for a specific reason in my mind and if you guys don't like that that is cool i understand we all got a preferences which i don't mind you guys having yours but this is what i'm gonna do for my preference what i like to do with my stuff but we're gonna do it a little bit 
a little bit more weird. It's going to look kind of weird to y'all probably, but you will see when I'm done. You'll be like, oh, it looks different. It's going to be gonna look a little bit different than the picture, but that's my plan. Planned it. There. Then I got to also fix this thing here. It's going to be a little bit more rounded than the actual picture, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with this end looking like that, though. Ugh. You know what? Hang on. You know what? I'm going to delete this for a minute. We're just in a square. Move this down. can also make that lovely little cut there, too. So let's just delete this for right now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this. And this is, like, so massive, right? This is, like, annoying. I'll go in a square with that. Just, just so I'm getting my nerve. <laughs> and then... I need to put this in here so it kind of hides this part a little bit. Pull it up. Oops, wrong one. There. Beautiful. And then it's the same thing on this side. There's so many different ways to go about this. It's just all basically your preference, how you want to go about it. I'm going about it to get a similar result as a picture, but not exactly the same result, if that makes sense. Like, you won't see that little part in there, but I know it's there, so it will annoy me. <laughs> and then just go up like that. Or you can, like, underneath here, it's basically opened, which is a little annoying. So I'm going to fix that right now because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it when it does that. I really don't. So I'm going to the building on this. I am going to turn this into a full on wraparound porch because I don't like how that looks. I might have like a little break in between or something. You know, I don't even like that. So we're just going to pop it there. <laughs> just give it like a full wraparound porch just to make it look a lot better. You guys will understand the method to my madness once you get there. You know, once you understand my madness, you will get what I'm saying. But that's going to be on that side. And then what I plan to do first is, one, make this go lower. This camera hates me. Come on. <laughs> is I'm going to push this down into this, just like that. And then if you noticed, in this front area, just for this little piece here, it's going to have its own little spot. And that's fine. You see how it perfectly connects to that almost? Like, oof. Just a little bit lower. I'm going to make it. You know, no, then again, I like a little taller. I like a look, look flesh. <laughs> Looks really tall though, don't it? <laughs> but yeah, I remember this whole second piece here is actually full on bedrooms. So that's why it looks so awkward. But you guys will see when I'm done how it will come out when I'm finished. I know it looks weird now. I, I agree with you. <laughs> but it will look a lot better when I'm finished with it. I'm only use this piece to go around on these corners and. As I said before, yeah, it's a method to my madness. Don't worry. <laughs> just go straight down. I'm going to make it really thin for right now so I can, you know, make sure it works. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to flip it to this corner. Make the corners line up and I'm going to drag it across. Go the same thing on the other way. Make the corners line up after you copy. Spin it around. Give it a little loop de loop and boop. There you go. Just doing that way. I'm going to probably pull up maybe a couple. One. Two. One. Oof. Two. <laughs> oh, that's too far up. One more. There you go. This way and this way gives it more of its own little thing. I do hate how this works, so I'm just going to drag it into there. Just like that. This is going to be a similar version. It's supposed to be like down here below this, but I'm not doing that because one would be like right here. And we can't do that in The Sims, so I am going to stretch. Well, I better not. You know what? We're not going to do that. I'm not going to stretch this because if we stretch it, it's going to look really weird. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that alone. I might make it smaller, though. It's like an inch. Whoopsie. Just like an inch smaller. Just a hint. Oop. Perfect. I like that. All right. Now, we did get into the columns. The columns are mostly, you know, wood-related. So, I'm just going to go with the pretty wood that I like. She likes the color yellow. So, I probably will be using the yellow of some sort. And maybe the brown. Brown and yellow is good together. So, 
I'm gonna put these here for right now. These are my little template little things, so don't worry about the space in between. I understand it looks a little weird. I promise it'll look better when I'm done. And I'm doubling it here because no one's gonna be standing there, so it's fine. I do hate how this corner is meeting. So like that. Perfect. That way it looks a little better. Alright. This is also really weird. Let's put that in as well. There you go. It looks a little weird. I wish this part was more like this. Because I like that better. But I don't like it into this. Which is annoying. So. I might either go all the way across with it like that. And make like a little fancy thing this way. Or. You know, I may simply just pull this out <laughs> and then copy this and put it on this side. Just to make it more of my whoopsies. More my vibe. Like so. It's not working the way I wanted to. Hang on. <laughs> Let's do this this way here. There. And then make this work better for us. But I don't like the extra space this has. So I'm going to go like this. And then same thing here. Pull this in a square. And it'll line up. That way it looks a little bit more better. And I can actually pull this out. I like it. Like so. I like it hanging over. I do not like. Especially when it comes to columns. Oh this is too far. There you go. <laughs> I was wondering why it looks too long to me. Now I know. But basically you just take this and you just pull it in to match what you want. And go all the way around. Do the same thing to this side. Boop. Perfect. Problem solved. See? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. That's for the outside. That's just basic down. Now I'm going to go inside here and work on putting in the furniture a little bit. The windows based on the pictures that I see. On window placement, we will be adding windows in certain spots only, but I might tweak it again. It's in Sims, you gotta tweak it a little bit. I might pull this out one actually, just to give it more of an actual entryway. I feel like it's too small, but you know, that's what it is. That's what it is. You will be fine. I do want to pull out this, this place a little bit more, but it, it messes up up here. It's a Nora Hall that. That's what it's gonna look like with the, the walls up. <laughs> doesn't look pretty I, i'm not gonna be that but you know it is what it is you know you just gotta roll with it um but you know down here we messed it up a little bit so i'm just gonna leave it in here and maybe just open it up to the living room just a smidge like that or something i don't know where is my stairs my stairs are missing that's not good uh-oh <laughs> all right one minute we gotta tweak this the stairs are gone, guys. The stairs are gone. We need to up this and add in stairs. That's what we need to do. So let's do that real quickly. Let's just add these in here, I guess. And then just tweak it once. Boom. And there. And then move this to over. Ooh, I gotta pull this out. Uh-oh. You know what? We'll just keep it normal. There you go. Do it like this. Beautiful. And it should still have it that way, so it's not affecting that. It still looks weird with this wall, but I'm gonna fix it so it don't look as bad. <laughs> so we will put a wall here. If you go upstairs, you get that wall there. It's fine, it looks normal. You wouldn't think nothing of it when you look at it this way. Um mm. if I move this wall, it's gonna take this room away and I don't wanna do all that work again. So we're good. We're good, we're gonna leave it alone. They ain't gonna touch it. <laughs> Alright, let's go downstairs. And I do want to make this into the foyer room like I showed you. So I do want to, you know, pop it out. Just a smidge. Drop it down a square. Boom. Then get rid of the wall here. I might keep the wall here though. Just so we have like a bigger TV wall. But that is our little room. Now, based on the images, we have a two window here. That's how small the house is. The house is supposed to be like four squares like this. Right about here. I made it a little bigger because we need, I know how the sims work and how much space you need to get around things. And well, this little four square would not have hold a double bed as well as a dresser and all this stuff with, with the layout they had. 
the layout they had. The bed's over here. You get the two things, the dresser, and a chair. So that's the way it should fit. But with this, the windows, they have shutters on their windows. I'm not sure if I want shutters on mine. To be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of shutters. I would prefer curtains, but we might do something like these. To give it a little bit more vibes. Or we could probably use Cottage Living, actually. I haven't used any of the Cottage Living stuff. So let's look at that. And see what they got for me. Oh, these are so cute, though. Oh, look how cute this is. I don't know if this will fit the vibe of the house. <laughs> we'll go with this for now until I figure out something better. If I figure out anything better. But right now, I do like the windows a little bit. Ooh, these are cute. I could do one window. I don't need to have two. Why does this one look different? Oh, this is taller. Definitely shorter windows. This is a bay window. That's tiny. Why are these so tiny? You'd think a bay window would be bigger. But we're going to use this one for now. For that, anywhere there's a shutter, there's small shutter ones too we need. So we're going to put the small shutter ones right on here. Because we're going to have them. And one on this side. Why? I don't understand. I think it's the bathroom anyway. Why would you want one there? But that's where they got it, so I'm going to put it. And this one here can go up here. I do like that window. And there is also a window here. But I'm going to put two because it's a little bit big. Like so. I don't like the open window part, though. That part I will say I don't like. Um, We'll put a little window there and a window here. Like I said, we got to tweak it to our likings. This angle is not good. Okay, let's try this again. There. Okay. Sure, good enough. <laughs> Alright, so in the back we have like another double window. So we'll put this back here for right now. I might change these out as I go, but right now that's what they look like. It's what I'm putting on there. And then I'm looking at the kitchen stuff. They have like the kitchen supposed to be right there with the window. So we'll see. Back here, you definitely know the sliding door situation happening. So the hardest part, I'd never be able to find these doors on the first try. So, um, I know this is the, okay. These, see, like I told you, it takes two. Also, depends on which ones you use. Like this, take all of it, but one space. Which I might end up doing, or we can use this. I like this one better. I might do that one. Let's do them white. I'm just going to do these for now. Like I said, I will be changing, tweaking as I go. What I may end up doing is speed build building the rest of this. I might speed build the rest. Yeah, because we're already 40 some minutes in and I just got the show done. And I still got to furnish, furnish it and everything else. So we're going to do as much as I can right here. And then I'm going to speed build it. That way you guys can see me furnishing it in the speed build. So I got to do this quickly here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. I like this. I want to get it in yellow, though, because, like I said, she likes yellow. Yes, I know I'm doing everything yellow, but don't worry. It will come out perfectly cool when I'm done. I'm just putting color in here. For some reason, it's not attaching to that one. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oops, done. All right. That part didn't care. I'm going to go back in here and just fill this all in. I will be adding like some kind of stone or something to like set this off because it is a lot of yellow on yellow, which is a lot. <laughs> so I will be adding maybe a stone or a brick or something to offset it a little bit. So it still feels cottagey, but not like that. Maybe even a little bit of. A different kind of thing to it just to give it some dimension like that just to give it a little bit of extra and then that go on that little piece and then this is gonna go on this piece here just to give a little bit of extra oomph to it. Also, 
I want the roof. It looks to be like this. So we're going to do the roof with that. I'm giving them what they wanted. That's what they have. So we'll do that. And they got a chimney in the back, but I'm not going to worry about the chimney. finished building that's like 
two hours of building. So I'm sorry if it was boring any or anything like that. Um, I did super speed through it. That way you won't be sitting there as long as I was. Um, but I figured I'd super speed through it. That way you guys can see it in the end when I come in and take you guys in. Ignore all the little vines that are like dead right now. For some reason they're dead, but I don't know how to work the buttons. There we go. This is the, the place I built from scratch. It's a little cottage looking thing. I'm going to start in the back, in the front, like the outside first. That way we can work our way inside. But we're going to go around the back. And this is our back side, as you can see. I got it set up for her to have a little bit of planting area, as well as a clothesline, a washing bin, a cottage shed, an animal shed, and a chicken coop. And then, the moment you all been waiting for, time to go inside. Yes, I'm excited for this. I actually love this. I hope you guys do too as well. If not, that's fine. We're all tied to our own opinions, but for me, in my opinion, I love this. Alright, so we gotta find a good corner to be in. Alright, this right here is going to be our foyer, mudroom, whatever you want to call it. So we got the lovely hang up. You hang up the clothes here, put the shoes there on this side. I didn't know what to put on here. So I left it blank for now. If you guys can think of anything, let me know. But there's a hamper here. And through the door, we go into what's our main living area. We have a step up into this beautiful living room. I love this living room. It's my favorite part of this whole house. And then you look over here. And you got the beautiful kitchen, which also I love as well. I wanted them to have a little parenting thing for curfews. And um, I do think I want to give them maybe a coffee pot. Don't know. But I do got that trash can. Shout out to Tyra. Got the trash can in here. This place is super expensive, but it's fine. I'll find some way to make up for it. They got a lot of furniture. Maybe I could just sell things out. But you go back out to the backyard. Of course, this is the wraparound porch. It goes up to this edge here. I didn't put nothing on the porch yet because it's too much money as it is. But this is one beautiful house. I love it. Ugh. And then we go into a bedroom. This is the master bedroom. She's got her own TV, a little relaxation paradise. I will fix that grass thing later when I start to actually play in it. Yes, there's not a lot of windows in this house, but I didn't want it to be. And in here, we have a walk-in to the laundry. And then you go a little further, and you got the bathroom. It's a full bath with a bathtub around this little corner, little nifty corner here. I put a little shower station. So that's for there. And now. Jesus. Work with me. If you go back through the living room. And you look up. You can see. It's a beautiful. 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 <laughs> I can't say beautiful enough. Okay. But if you go up these stairs here. You have a little area for the kids to play. I, I like the little. You know, dollhouse, little kitty thing. And I got this new home decorator in here. Oh, God. And then in this bedroom, it's just a regular bedroom. Nothing fancy. I got a little kid thing in here. A couple bunk beds. And, of course, a closet. This one is a another full bathroom. Again, nothing fancy. I will put a mirror in here. And I will put, like, like sure, solving stuff when I get money. I didn't want to spend too much money. And when I tell you how much this cost me, y'all will be like... Really? Yeah, I spent a lot of money on this. And this right here, it's going to be the boys' bedrooms. If we have any boys, I'll stick them in here. And this is going to be a girls' bedroom. So a little girly. We've got a little beautiful thing there. I put a little art easel and violin in here. I put the void critters in the other room. And that's basically every room. There's four bedrooms. There's a, a, new, general new, a gender neutral bedroom. There is a boy bedroom, there's a girl bedroom, there's a bathroom upstairs, a bathroom downstairs. And that's basically it for this build, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry that it was so long. I hope it didn't bore you, but that's my build. See y'all next week. Bye!